get a lot of questions during Backyard Farmer about what to mulch with when we're mulching our landscape. We also get questions about pine needles in particular and all of that stuff that our good old pine trees drop. The cones, the immature cones, some little branches, and certainly the needles. This is a great example of what happens as pines age. These are old scotch pines, and of course they started life as a little transplant, became a Christmas tree, if you will, and then over time they have lost their lower branches. They still drop needles, however, and a lot of cones, and as you can see, they have created for themselves, under their own canopy, a beautiful pine cone and pine needle mulch. The upside of that is you don't have to use wood chips. The ground is covered with the mulch. A lot of weed suppression happens, and it's certainly easy in a condition like this to be able to see the weeds that do pop up, and then take care of them either by pulling with, by hand or hoeing, or if they are particularly persistent and you have to use a chemical, you certainly are not having to spray or figure out what is a weed and what is not. The downside of using pine needles and cones as a mulch can be that this is where some of the spores of those nasty diseases of pines can overwinter. So if you are in a situation where you have poor air movement, you know you've had some of the pine diseases, you probably are not going to want to use the pine needles and the cones as a mulch. In that case, you can certainly rake them up, put them in the compost pile, but know that it's going to take them quite a while to deteriorate. You can buy pine needles in bags or in bulk, not very often and, and not in very many locations in this part of the country because it's not really a go-to mulch. It does become something, however, that is great if you do have it occurring naturally. You also need to know, though, that, of course, every single year those needles and those cones are going to drop, recharge the mulch that is underneath. So if you have mulched with wood or you've mulched with kind of a fine shredded material, you are going to end up with pine needles dropping every single year into the other mulch. If it were me and these were mine, I would go ahead and use the pine needles that are here. This is a spot where we have good air circulation and air movement. So the likelihood of these pines being diseased and having that inoculum in the needles and the cones is pretty unlikely.